it going today everyone? This is Michael out in Maui. Aloha. So today I wanted to discuss on how to stop your forward momentum when you're coming out of the X step for a max throw. Um, stopping your forward momentum is very important because that helps give you, you know, the maximum torque of your upper body on the release of the disc. So it's real important to be able to get yourself to stop. Um, you know, the harder you throw, you know, the lower you need to be so you can retain balance and that gives you the ability to stop yourself, you know, the faster you're running up. So on a max run up, you want to be lower on your throw then if you're just doing let's say an upshot or just a small short 200 footer you're going to be more upright because your run up is slower you know so if your run up is slower it's okay to stand up because it's easier to stop your forward momentum you know from going forward because you're running up slower but when you're running up for a maximum throw you know max distance out of an X step you have so much more power, you know, coming through with the run-up that the only way to stop it is by lowering your center of gravity down here. It's a lot easier to stop your forward momentum, you know, from being low. You know, from down here, I can stop myself from going over with the throw. But up here there's nothing for my body to brace against and this foot's gonna follow through on the throw and you'll lose you know some of that torque you built up when you reached back um, so one of the main things for like running up and being able to stop yourself to get maximum torque is Bracing your front lead leg when it comes out of the X step. It's real important to get this foot, your front lead foot, perpendicular and properly braced to the ground. Um, not going to go over a whole lot on the on the foot bracing. I did a video on it. I recommend watching that video on bracing, and we just talk about the foot and what the foot is doing, you know, in the throw. But here, you know, I just want to focus on stopping forward momentum. So stopping forward momentum, you need good bracing and you need good balance. Um, so when you come through, you have to be able to shift your weight to the front leg. Shifting the weight to the front leg helps lock this leg to the ground. And that's what gives you the ability to stop your forward momentum. So it's real important to get this leg properly planted to the ground. Um, like when you're running up, you got to come under control. The better you run up under control and balanced, it's going to help you shift your weight properly, you know, to make that throw. Um, so for the legs, you know, that's what you got to do for the legs to get yourself to stop. Um, second, you know, when you're coming in, you know, you got to stay low. So the throw for a long distance max throw, you know, your throw is from down here. You know, I'm here when I make that throw. You know, I got a lot of more bend in my leg because I'm going to try to throw this as far as I can. So I need the maximum balance. So I'm way down here as I uncoil. And when I uncoil, all that weight's going to go right here, but because I'm lower, it's going to keep me from bringing this leg over the top. If I come in straighter, so if I come in and I come up here and I'm straighter, you know, just a little bend, now, when I come through to uncoil, I'm not going to be able to stop my momentum, and this leg's going to step through with the throw. 
and that's where you lose you know you're gonna lose some of your power because it's it's following you so some of that you know your your twist from here is gonna get hindered because your legs following you you know if you're here you know and I do like that you know it's gonna be slower so it's important like it's almost like two different throws a max throw where you're trying to just crank it is a lot different than maybe just a strong throw you know like let's say you're just trying to throw it out to you know whatever 300 350 you know then you know you're coming in a little slower so you can be a little higher because you are throwing it a little slower but if you're really gonna crank on it and try to push it you know you got to bring yourself down you know so you can stop your momentum um, so when you're coming in for full speed so when you're running up in full speed you know staying low so it's something like this and you can see how this leg stopped you can see all my weight transferred to this front leg and none of it went past by this leg stopping it allowed my upper body to completely snap through the throw so we'll do another fast one and then we're going to do one you know straighter up so here's another fast torque one So same thing full throw I was able to stop all my body right here that allowed me to torque everything I had into that throw I didn't waste any of my coil um, when you reach back and you get that good coil you don't want to waste any of it so then now we'll do it more up and see if I can stop my body from stepping over you can see on that one I couldn't stop my momentum I went right over the top with the disc um, because I'm releasing it at the same time as stepping over I'm also changing my angle of my shoulders and my hips because I can't stop you know all that everything's going over even though I landed perpendicular but because I was up here it's it's pulling me over so you have the tendency to pull it a little bit to the right because it's going to change your shoulders so once again I'll you know we're up So once again, you can see how my whole... As my whole body went over the top again, because I can't stop it. So when I'm coming through, you know, I get my good reach back and I plant. And as I'm coming through, because I'm taller, yeah, I just can't stop the momentum. So it's real important, you know, the harder you want to throw the disc, the lower you need to be. Um, you know, uh, you know, like even throwing a mid-range, you, know, you want to crank on it, you know, 
it's all the discs. It's not just drivers. Whenever you want to max crank a disc, you know, you just, you got to be down here so you can stop. And that allows your shoulders to pop through. Because the video, you know, um, that I have the uh, released on the hips. You know, I was talking about, uh, I have a video talking about what's on the hips, and what the hips are doing. Um, really good video tying, you know, more of the body together, you know. So if you watch that video, because I don't want to go too depth into what the hips are doing right now, because I already did that. But it's really important to keep your hips straight. You want to torque off the hips for maximum throw of the disc. It's through here. And your hips will stay forward. And this leg here will stay braced forward. And that allows your upper body to really torque on your throw. Um, so anyway, so like when you're throwing a max throw, you know, stay lower to the ground. Um, most people have a problem staying down than they do staying up. You watch most people on the course, they're going to throw standing up more than they're going to be down here. Um, you'll really notice a difference in your throwing if you start bending your legs um, in all your throws. If you just really start bending your legs and getting on top, all your throws are going to start coming out better. Um, so anyway, so I just recommend, you know, bend your legs the harder you throw. Um, but anyways, this is Michael out in Maui. Aloha.